back to the channel it is my first ever vlogmas and i am so excited i mean check out the size of this advent calendar it's huge so i have two advent calendars this year the whole idea behind vlogmas is that you vlog each day of december but i don't really have time for that so <laughs> um, as a teacher my time is um <laughs> very very short so what i'm going to do is open up my calendars each day of the month and i'll put them all together once a week so you can see what i'm getting up to that's all christmasy so if i do anything else that's christmasy then that will be included too not just opening advent calendars so the very first one is this huge one behind me that looks like a giant gingerbread house it's this really lovely pink color and it is from Crochet Society. Now I didn't purchase this direct from Crochet Society mainly because I wasn't sure if I wanted it and funds were a little bit tight at the time but somebody decided that um, due to whatever's gone on in, in the world um, this year that actually they wanted to spend their money on something else for Christmas. So I managed to bag myself one and I'm so excited to get it open but I also have another advent calendar both of these are yarn related I don't have any idea what's in any of them the other one I have I've put in a reindeer bag from my stash because it comes in a box and you get all these lovely little parcels so I have a little parcel each day to open as well and this is from Siobhan's Crafts over on Instagram and I believe she's on Etsy, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> um, so there are two to open for this one and there is a giant one to open for the big one so I think I'm going to open the little ones first. So here's the card that goes with it, it says thank you for joining us this year for Advent, hope you enjoy your calendar. Just to clarify, number one is to be opened on December 1st, no peeking. <laughs> let's have a look shall we we have this one which says December 1st open on December 1st there is also a number one so let's find number one day number one let's just pop that back up there I just realized I haven't put the lights on one second <laughs> it's not Christmas without fairy lights is it twinkle twinkle so let's have a look shall we first one now the only thing i do know about this advent is that ooh, um is that it is based around gemstones and i think that's the main reason i bought this because i love gemstones <laughs> Oh, cool it's like a little drawstring bag so that is the theme for this year's advent just a piece of card to hold its shape it's a nice strong sturdy bag it's kind of like a ripstop canvas fabric so i'm assuming then that each day i open up one of these little boxes the contents will fit inside this bag so that's what i'm going to use it for anyway but I love it. That's a really nice print as well. That's come out really well. Gemstones galore. So let's open the box then for day one. Da, da, da. Slide that out. So day one is obsidian. So obsidian is a very dark gemstone. It's mainly black. You can also get gold and obsidian where there's like shimmers of gold in it. Um, but yeah, it's quite a powerful gemstone as well. So I'm really impressed that our first one is obsidian. I'm really interested to see what the others are. So that is going in the back. Day one in the bag. I hope I find somewhere to put that. <laughs> So let's go straight into the big one, shall we? See if I can do this without knocking the camera over. 
not quite. <laughs> so it opens up completely. So it's not just this one face. If I open up, I'm going to have to move my coasters. <laughs> Look at that. Like I said, it's enormous. Let's move the other coaster. So big it doesn't fit in the screen. See? So number one is right in the centre. Oh my god, how am I gonna open this? I'm gonna wreck in the box now. That's no good, is it? It's a little ball of yarn. And it's a crochet hook. Oh, it's super sparkly. 3.75 crochet hook. Sparkly and pink. And the colour in here is awful. That is a really bright, vibrant pink and it's not showing up. It's the same colour as the ball of yarn. And again, that's not showing up. We will check the lighting tomorrow. I'm filming this quite late at night, so that's probably why. Um, so I'll give you a recap tomorrow or maybe I'll put a picture in we'll do that, I'll put a picture in so this is Bellico Co's Crochet Confection BK I don't know what so, oh, watermelon and a crochet hook so there is also a crochet along to go with this calendar so I'm assuming there's like bits of yarn dancing around in it so we shall see but I look forward to seeing what's going on tomorrow so that is day one of December done and come back and see what come I cut there. <laughs> that is day one of December over and done with. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning everyone. It is day two, the second of December, which means it's time to open up my advent calendars again. And as I did yesterday, I'm gonna start with the smaller one first. So let's get that down, shall we? Okay, so we have the bag from yesterday with our obsidian yarn. And let's find day two. So today we've got a little purple little pouch. So Ooh. Ooh, I've dropped it. So it's lovely the tones of grey and this is called Smoky Quartz. And I think that goes really well with the obsidian we had yesterday because you've got those lovely dark black tones in there as well. So these are going to work really nicely together. So I'm going to pop that in the bag. And that's day two of Siobhan's Crafts Advent. So it's time to have a look at the Crochet Society one. Now I've, I've moved over, you can notice I've moved to the other side of the Advent today because door number two is up here. So I've also completed the first part of the crochet along. So as you can see here, this is called the Royal Ridge, and what it does is it pushes up the Vs in your stitches to face the front. So this is going to be a lovely blanket by the end of the month. And let's see what's behind door number two. Ooh. What colour is this one? It's still Confection DK. This one's called... There goes my lights. This one's called Just Peachy and it goes really nicely with the watermelon colourway. It's slightly changing in colours. This one's a little bit lighter so I'm looking forward to seeing what the next section of the crochet along is and how these two are going to work together. So I'll see you again tomorrow for day Good morning. It is 
the 3rd of December so it's time to open up my advent calendars again for Christmas so again let's start with a smaller one I hope I don't knock my lights off today so we have the drawstring bag still and today's day three so let's find day three I'm having to stay off of Instagram until I've opened these because people are opening them very early and that means that I'm not getting the surprise of the yarn. So I'm staying off Instagram. <laughs> so day three, what do we have for day three? Oh, this one's got loads of colours in it. Loads of colours. What is it? Bismuth? I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look that one up. There's loads of colours here. Mm. there's some really nice bright pinks there's purples a bit of really nice lime green in there as well mm. gonna have to look that one up because i don't know that gemstone it's very pretty so again it's going into the little bag and i think i've worked out what i want to do with these because they're all based on crystals and gemstones However, there is no pattern available for what I want to do, which means I need to get my thinking cap on. So this is going to be extra special. So that means it's time to open up the big one and door number three is over with door number two. So let's get it open. Ooh, that's a really nice colour. It's like a tealy colour. So this is called Elderberry. Again, it's the Confection DK by Crochet Society. And I've also finished part two of the crochet along as well. So let's show you that. Now it's still attached to ball number two because we're going to move on to some mosaic stitching, mosaic crochet stitches. So there we have it we've got the royal ridge at the bottom we've got some spike stitch here and then we're starting to move on to mosaic at the top so i'm really looking forward to seeing how this new color is going to add into here and i will show you all again tomorrow hi good morning it is day four which means it's time to open up door number four here and box number four up there so again advent calendars are the crochet society and siobhan's crafts so let's see what is in number four for today from siobhan's crafts so today's is a little black little pouch oh it's purple Ooh. let's close that down today is I can never pronounce this right. Char Charoite. So we've got purples. There's a bit of black speckles in there. There's some really hot pink as well, which is not really coming out on my camera. Don't know if you can see those. So Charoite, which is a really, really lovely gemstone, actually. It looks really pretty in stone form so that goes really nicely actually with the smoky quartz doesn't it from the other day let's have a look they all go nicely together actually they've all got a slight gray element to them so these are our four days so far let's put them in the right order those are our four days so obsidian smoky quartz bismuth and charoite I think they're going to look stunning together actually. I'm really impressed with these. I think I've got, I can't remember if it's 20 grams, or I think it's 10 grams, and this is the DK version. I think it might be the sock weight version. Can't remember. I'll have to check my order details. So that's day four in the bag. So let's have a look inside door number four of the crochet society now before i do that though i need to show you part three of the crochet along 
Now, if you don't have a calendar, you can still join in. All of the information is on the blog on the Crochet Society website, and it gives you yarn substitutions. So we're just using DK yarn that comes in the calendar. Obviously, if you don't have the calendar, you can use a selection of DK yarn from your stash, or I haven't actually checked the alternatives. Anyway, let's show you part three. Now, it was my first time doing inset mosaic. That is the stitch that you learn for part three. And you also get floret stitch. So we started with Royal Ridge, moved into spike stitch. This is our inset mosaic crochet. And then we've got two rounds, or two rows of floret stitch, which is a bumpy one. And it's coming out really nice. I wasn't sure how the elderberry and the just peachy were going to work together, but they're working out really nice. And I cannot wait to see what today's part is. So let's find out what colour we're going to be working with, shall we? I may have to spin around. So number four, right in the middle. And I'm going to end up pushing the whole calendar. Oh, it's like a minty green. That is a lovely colour. This is called bubblegum. <laughs> so bubblegum actually is going to go really nicely with the elderberry colour. So I'm looking forward to seeing what I get to do with this later. So that is day number four. I'll see you again tomorrow, day number five. Also, I forgot to show you my Christmas jumper. So let's see that, shall we? I went and dug out, I have three Christmas jumpers and one Christmas shirt. So, this one has a penguin. Little penguin in a Christmas hat. <laughs> and maybe tomorrow, no actually, I'll wear this one tomorrow as well. So that's five days that you've had this jumper, almost. And then I will wear a different one for the next five days. So. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Morning everyone, it's day five, which means it's time to open up my advent calendar again. And as always, I'm gonna show you part four of the crochet cap. So we added in bubble gum yesterday. And here we are. So we've got some more spike stitches along the top and then we've got some back loop and front loop rows so i'm really interested to see what's going to happen next and these are working really nicely together these colors i'm really impressed with them so without further ado let's go and open day number five of my siobhan's crafts so i can pop it in the bag today is a silver box and what did we have yesterday? We had Chara White yesterday. So, oh, there's something else in here as well. We have Amethyst. It's a really lovely, rich purple tones. There's a little bit of pink in the middle there as well. That's really pretty. What do we have here? Oh, there's an Amethyst charm little heart let's see if I can get this to show up little amethyst charm my phone does not like focusing that close but little heart shape so that's got a really nice oh put it in front of the camera it's like an earring clasp so it just closes up so it can be used for knitting and crochet It's really nice for day five so thank you for Siobhan I'm gonna pop those in the bag I'll take some nice pictures later because I need to do yesterday's as well so as always it's time to move on to the crochet society calendar and number five is up here so now you can see I haven't got the lights on today purely because it's very bright I don't really need lights so check it open number five it's pink. I do love a bit of pink. 
what colour is this one? This one is called Go Great. I think that goes quite nicely actually with the amethyst we got today. So I'm going to go and see what part of the pattern this is going to be. And then I'll see you back here later. Bye. So I've just gone to do a little boomerang of this door. I noticed there's something else inside. We've got a little Christmas present stitch marker. Look at that. Time to go and put it on my blanket. 